Welcome back to another installment of Professor Charles' Law. Shoobity doo doo. Oh, yeah. Hi guys, welcome back to another installment of Professor Charles S. Live. And today we're going to talk about Falcon and Winter Soldier, Episode 3, Power Holder. So in this episode, we see where Sam and Bucky go pay a visit to someone that is very familiar with us. Zemo! So they go visit Baron Zemo in Germany, and pretty much this situation wasn't a good idea, first off, because we can see there's issues with Sam and, and Bucky having issues about it. Sam is like, why are we helping this criminal? He killed King T'Chaka, T'Challa's father, the Black Panther. Um, I'm not feeling this idea. He's like, no, we, we shouldn't be trying to break him out to help us find out who's got this super serum for these super soldiers that's out like Carly. On the other hand, Bucky is like, hey, look, it's a former Hydra guy. I got this. Bucky's like, look, I got it. I'm going to handle it. And we can see there's, uh, you know, even though the buddies don't see eye to eye with one another, Bucky goes talk to Zemo. And it's a very interesting conversation because Bucky and Zemo were pretty much affiliated with one another in the past when he was under Hydra's control. And pretty much, you know, Bucky talks to Zemo and Zemo and them figure out a way to stage a prison break. So pretty much what happens is there's a, a, a thing where they're in the prison, the prisoners get into a fight. And I love how Bucky kind of explains it to Sam. Sam thinking like, he ain't let go Zemo like that. And... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Bucky, but, uh, no, Sam, but, yeah, Bucky did. <laughs> Bucky helped. And now, with this situation, we see Zemo able to get out. He disguised himself as one of the prison guards, which I thought was really smooth. I said, like, Zemo is a smooth criminal in this actual series. Um, but also, within this episode, we learn about Carly, the new super soldier. Um, Carly, um, is pretty much, um, also another issue with Carly is pretty much that something else is going to happen to Carly. Carly is pretty much, she's got a, a bounty on her head too. So with Carly's situation, we learned that, um, someone that is very close to her is dying. I'm assuming it's her mother by the, uh, pretty much her going to visit her. Uh, wanting to be by her, you know, taking her last, I don't know how much longer she's going to live. Um, but you can tell that she's very important to Carly because Carly's very emotional about it um, and stuff like that. So we can see Carly is like, hey, look, you know, I care about this woman, um, how she's been doing since I've been gone. Because we know Carly's been doing other things, being a super soldier that she is, right? <laughs> but also in this episode, we see the new cap, uh, Mr. Walker. We're going to go. <laughs> and Walker is a, you know, he's trying to make himself as patriotic as ever, um, trying to figure out <laughs> where is Carly, you know, and we see that he is about his business with his partner, Lamar. So the new cap is not the most likable. We we see that too also. <laughs> but also in this episode, we see Zemo kind of tell the heroes, hey, we, we're going to have to get our hands a little dirty in this episode. We see Zemo take them to Mat Matapur. Matapur is this place where all these different criminals and I guess you could say exiles are living. It's such a beautiful place. Like, I was like, this is the place? This is where they're going? <laughs> to find out about the, 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 the super soldier serum? I'm like, wow. <laughs> Such a night nice scene. It, it was it looked just so beautiful. And we also see uh Zemo kind of bonding with Bucky and, and Sam. I love that. When they got on the airplane together, I thought that was really cool. Like <laughs> it is crazy because I thought Bucky was gonna kill Zemo. I'm like, bruh. You and you and put you, you know, he having the book and everything. And the book is a book that Steve, um, and I can see why Bucky has so much value in it 
That was the probably the last thing that he got from uh Chris. Uh, that was Captain America. Uh, it was Steve, excuse me, Steve. And maybe that's what it was. He felt some type of way. It was a sentimental item. On top of that, it had a list of the people that um he committed his sins with when he was with Hydra. And he had this look with Zemo. I'm like, oh, oh, Zemo, don't cross that line, boy. Don't cross that line. <laughs> I thought he was going to give it to Zemo. I was like, mm -mm, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> but we see that we also see that Sam had a, a nice admiration for um you know Steve as uh Captain America and I, and I think that was really neat that we saw he's like yeah you know he got into Marvin Gaye and stuff like that said cool man you know uh but also before they go to Matapur uh they have to go <laughs> under different aliases they can't just go to Matapur you know what I'm saying it, with their regular names because then people are gonna know also when they're in Matterport, they come across another person from the past sharon the great niece of peggy carter <laughs> also captain america's love interest uh original one uh and when we see sharon sharon's a little different from what we remember because remember when we saw her in captain america 2 she was a little different you know what i'm saying she's living in the states Whereas over here, she's kind of a thief. You know what I'm saying? She's this thief. And, and you know, she still got them hands and, and combating <laughs> when it comes down to it. But Sharon is, is you know, when she comes across, uh, you know, Zemo and Sam and Bucky, um, you know, and luckily she came in time because <laughs> the Matterport that they went into uh, end up killing this lady to find out about the Super Serum. Um, and that's, you know, then they end up having a bounty on their heads, so Sharon came to their aid, um, but Sharon was not happy to see Sam, <laughs> and I can understand why, like, literally, Sharon explained, she's like, yo, I stole Cap Shield, I stole those wings, so I'm like, she's pretty much like the Catwoman when it comes to stealing stuff, and, you know, they eventually go back to her place, and I'm just like, bruh, 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 <laughs> and you see all the different stuff she's stolen to make a living, because she can't go back to the States, because <laughs> she, she's pretty much, like, she can't go back to her family, she can't go back to the States due to the things that she stole, but also towards the end of this episode, we see that um, Bucky's past is catching up to him. We see that uh, literally... Uh, you know, pretty much one of the uh, Dorla Milaj uh, from Wakanda came to visit. She dropped her bead, and she wasn't happy with what uh, Bucky had did. Also, the reason for that is because Team King T'Chaka got killed by Zemo. You know, you know, Bucky got uh, framed for that due to Zemo, and she was like, "Oh, you know why I'm here, right?" But also, let me get back into this. I forgot to mention, they found the scientists. They found out how many soldiers or serums. There were 20 super soldier serums, eight people that took this, uh, the serum um, besides Carly. Um, and, I, you know, I like this episode. This episode gave us depth. We learned, you know, what happened to Sharon. <laughs> also, we got a chance to get the back seat of Zemo. Zemo being... Pretty much, you know, the man, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, and him being a mastermind that he is, uh, we see that there's still differences between Bucky and, and Sam, um, you know, coming together due to their differences because they operate differently. Um, but I, I think this episode was really detailed. I like the action in it. There was some action in it too. Sharon's action fighting. Bucky, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Sam, not as quite, but I, I really like the show. I am looking forward to the next episode, too. But you guys tell me in the comments what do you think. Until next time, guys, I'm out. Subscribe, comment, like. Thanks for watching.